um, I'm here to talk to you about uh, making better UIs and uh, how the DMC GUI suite can help with that. So let's get to it. Um, who are we? Uh, my name is Roman Siliax. I'm a systems engineer based in Chicago, in the Chicago office for DMC. Uh, DMC provides engineering, IT consulting, and software solutions for a broad spectrum of industries. Uh, we specialize in test and measurement solutions. That's the service area I'm a part of. Uh, and we've been working with LabVIEW and NI for over 20 years. Um, so glossing over the details, we do a lot of stuff with NI and a lot of LabVIEW stuff. <laughs> so uh, one of our core values is to share information. So we're excited to share our GUI suite and uh, some quick LabVIEW UI tips with you. Um, so we've all seen this. This is the uh, typical uh, LabVIEW UIs. Very, very LabVIEW-esque, the default gray. Um, and we see, um, you know, the very tacky green, yellow, red um, UI on the left. Um, that one was actually made in at DMC before we transitioned to using more of these um, nice UI, UI suites. And then on the right, we have some um, uh, UIs made directly from NI. Um, but yeah, so we want to kind of go from that to something a lot more clean, minimalist like this. Um, so this is like definitely what you would see on a mobile application, something that we would see, um, you know, more 2022, should you say. Um, so this uh, GUI suite that DMC has provided is publicly available. Um, and we just want to help make better UIs. And uh, with that, we're going to go through some quick tips that we can use to hopefully make everything a little bit more friendly for the user. So tip number one, um, use flat or semi-flat controls. So we have you know the default OK button there on the left. And you know, it's fine, it does okay in a pinch, um, but it can become really cluttered sometimes with the shadows, um, the way it highlights things. Um, and so there was kind of this shift around 2012 to get into more simplistic, clean and minimalist designs. So that would kind of be more like flat. So the, the okay button there in the middle. And flat is okay, but uh, it isn't super convenient for the user. They can't really tell if you're hovering over the okay button. Um, you know, you may not even realize it's a button because it may just be a little text in a box. Um, so then, you know, around 2015, kind of added some more complexity to that, kind of morphed into semi-flat. So semi-flat, um, you can show whenever it's being highlighted. We can see right here um, with the OK button that's flashing. Uh, whenever you hover over it, it'll kind of become a little bit darker for the user to see that you can actually click on it. So that is tip number one. Tip number two, simple is better. So if a user has to think about your user interface, that means it's too complicated and not intuitive enough, right? It should be their first thought is exactly what should be happening. So the most common interaction with the user should be what you're focusing on. So anytime a user may have to log in, that should be, you know, first and foremost, login screen. Or, you know, one other thing that every, every user is going to do is close the application at some point. So you're going to have to have that be very available and um, you know, just in general know what piece of information you should be displaying. So that comes to the second point. What are the most, in piece, most important pieces of information that you can display? Um, so for example, say there's a, you know, a graph displaying um, you know, real-time information from a CDAC, right? You want that to be very prevalent in the design of the UI because that's what the user wants to see, right? That makes sense. Um, you know, so in addition to that, what is a typical order of operation when we're interacting with the UI? Um, so all, all things that you should be thinking about. And the key is the user should not have to think about how the UI is working. It should just, you know, make sense with the workflow. Uh, tip number three, so find a good color palette. Um, only choose a couple of colors for the entire UI um, and consider gray and one or two other colors. Um, yeah, sorry, just double check if there are any questions. Cool. Um, and so you typically want to choose gray or one or two other colors um, or complementary colors. Um, free tools like Adobe Color CC are good combinations. I'm sure Google has plenty of things that um, you can look up. But finding a good, simple color palette can really help as well. Um, tip number three, find a good color palette. So the DMC UI Styles Toolkit, which is separate from the GUI suite, um, can be useful in this. So you can kind of set up a few colors that would be your default theme. And anytime you change those colors, it would change everything for the entire application. So that's really helpful, um, especially, you know, we work with projects, a lot of different clients, say a client wants, you know, a red indicator, you know, theme. Um, that's fairly easy for us to change on the fly. So that's really helpful. You can also get light mode, dark mode, uh, not starting any debates here, but you can add that in as well. 
So tip number four, this is something um, right in LabVIEW. This is not special to DMC or anything. You can do custom controls. So I don't know, hopefully people know this. You can do advanced customize on any control and you can go in and specifically edit certain parts of a control. So for example, if we took the native silver control button on the left um, and we wanted to remove the little highlight that you see on the left, the left version of the cancel button, um, you can do that and make it look a little bit more like that flat design we were talking about earlier. So that's definitely something that can be done um, as well and something that's very helpful. Um, in addition to this, um, there are many other, uh, you know, toolkits that can be used. DMC is not the only one. Um, flat UI controls by JKI is also useful. Uh, Scarlet UI, uh, Flat UI by um, Rafa Solutions and Overt Technologies as well. Um, those are great resources. Um, some of them are paid, some of them are not. Um, but just the key is we want to make um, great user interfaces for the users of our applications. Um, I'll take a pause, see if, make sure everything's going smoothly. Nice, okay. Um, quick tab control demo. So we've all seen typical LabVIEW tab controls with text. Um, one thing that you can do, this isn't specific to the DMC, but um, it can really help with this if you use um, circular radio buttons. And if you make those the tab control um, for you know whatever tab you're using. So this is the only block diagram in this presentation, but um, it's fairly simple. We just got a for loop or a while loop with an event um, structure within it. And it's just you know using the radio button. Anytime you activate the radio button, it will switch the tab control. So fairly simple, um, and just using you know a radio button um, with those DMC buttons to um, create a nice user interface that's uh, easy for the user to understand which tab they're moving to. Nice. So the bottom line, um, as LabVIEW developers, we have become accustomed to the primitive. Uh, control palettes that <laughs> LabVIEW comes with, but our users are not used to this. They're used to the new modern designs. So we might have to adjust moving forward to try and you know accommodate this and help our users feel a little bit more at home when they're using our applications. Um, you know, when it comes to our applications, it's great. Um, you know, the code works, but as long as the user if the user can't end up using it, um, that's kind of a problem. So having a nice user interface is very important for the user. Um, here's some helpful links, don't have to memorize them. Um, DMC info is our website. And then anything with, um, you go to blog, anything LabVIEW UI is gonna be related to this and helpful. So um, I believe that comes to the end of my presentation. Let's see if there are any questions um, that anybody has. Great presentations, Roman. Awesome. Uh, no immediate questions as far as I see in the chat. It was really, really nice and insightful trip through how to make UI look modern. That's the point. Because it, the lab is fantastic on making an UI just out of the box, but it takes a little bit of extra work to make it. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, nice. Yeah, okay, the minimalist approach with a lot of white space looks nice. Uh, do you have any tips to pack in as much information as the, the ugly, dense UIs? Uh, yes, I've, I've come into some of these problems as well. I think the key is um, try to keep the colors the same. So I know um, sometimes when you're working with clusters, trying to put a cluster in a UI, um, sometimes you can end up with a lot of gray like outlines and things. Um, just try to keep it as you know, simplistic to just the controller indicator as, as possible. Um, it, it is hard, um, you know, especially in, in my industry, you know, clients come up and they're like, well, we need more information. We need to see more, like what's happening on the test stand. And you're like, well, it's not gonna look great, but you know, you just gotta get as much as you can in there. So I guess there's no perfect answer, but just try to keep it as much as you can just to the indicators and try to make everything else blend in. Um, to what you're doing. So I don't know if that answers your question or, or, or not, but <laughs> that's my advice.